Welcome to Siwa. The Siwa Oasis is in the western desert of Egypt. Geographically, the Siwan Oasis is located in a depression 20 meters below sea level. Its natural springs and warm climate aided in the bountiful production of date trees. Though clearly influenced to some degree by Egyptian and African culture, the area's isolation resulted in a unique society and language. While they worshipped the same deities, Siwan temple architecture differed from traditional Egyptian temples. Old Kingdom Egyptians referred to the oasis as cauldron due to its unique geographical structure. Oases were crucial for nomadic tribes and caravans. Without them, there was no chance of survival in an otherwise harsh landscape. As such, oases quickly became hubs for trade, as well as areas of political control. Because of the dry climate, there is very little rainfall to sustain the oases. Instead, underground rivers flood the natural basins. Since many oases have a north-south orientation parallel to the Nile, some geologists suggest they were once tributaries of the mighty river. There is evidence that ancient Egyptians attempted to create some oases. The Libyan oases are the best known, as they are geographically and culturally linked to the Nile Valley and the Delta. These western oases have a distinct geology from the other regions of Egypt. The most famous and important oases are Karga, Dakla, Farafra, Baharia, and Siwa. The Spring of the Sun is one of many thermal sources in Siwa, with the particularity that Cleopatra would have bathed in this one, giving it its name. The presence of the source beneath was attested already by Herodotus during the 5th century BCE, when the oasis was called Amuneon by the Greeks of Cyrene. Oracles predicted the future, delivered omens that could be more or less obscure, and offered divine guidance. The Siwan Oracle was considered one of the three greatest of the ancient world, alongside the oracles of Delphi and Dodoni. Because of the Greek colonies in Cyrenaica, the temple associated Zeus with the worship of Amun.
It is no wonder that Alexander the Great made the perilous journey to Siwa in order to consult the Oracle, emulating the actions of mythical heroes such as Hercules and Perseus. This action earned the approval of the Oracle, who validated his claim as Pharaoh of Egypt. He was confirmed as the son of Amun, conferring upon him the most legitimate claim to date of all Egypt's foreign invaders. The powerful and the rich would send gifts or travel great distances in order to ensure their good fortune by gaining the blessing of the Oracle of Siwa. Every successful blessing only increased the soothsayer's prestige. Runner Eubotus, a famous citizen of Cyrene, consulted the Oracle in order to know if he would win the 93rd Olympic Games race in 408 BCE. He did enhancing the standing of the C1 Oracle in the process. The Temple of the Oracle of Amun was built in the 6th century BCE by Pharaoh Amasis. In the game, its entrance is guarded by ram-headed sphinxes, the animal representing Amun. They were inspired by similar statuary located at the British Museum. Another option would have a Greek-influenced representation of Zeus Amun, a human-headed sphinx with horns. This representation of Zeus Amun was very popular in Siwa. Mm -hmm. 